Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here. It's super cold outside, but hey, today we're going to see something super fun, which is how we can use Python libraries in .NET using CSnakes and Bonus, all of these orchestrated in an Aspire solution. So let's start from the beginning. There is this amazing library here, which is called Mark It Down, and it basically allows us to transform any type of documents, PDF, PowerPoint, Word, etc to Markdown. And this is super, 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 super powerful. So I want to use this in .NET. And one of the options that I have, yes, of course, I can probably create a Docker container and run it there using, I don't know, Flask or whatever, and that's it. But I wanted to basically manage everything. So my friends, Aaron and Anthony created, and I think there is four people there, those are only the two names, created Cisnake. Cisnake is an amazing tool for embedding Python libraries in .NET projects. So is, there is a full step-by-step -step and repository where you can see how it works, but at the end, what you have is, in my scenario, what I am going to have is a web API .NET project that has the Snake's runtime out there, and that's it. You also need to add the Python library. And once you have this, this is the code that I want to run. Let me open the Python code. The library is very, very simple. You just need to pass a file and create a market, market down library uh, instance and then convert it to Markdown. That's it. So what we did here is in the program, this is a web uh, application, we in the, in the services builder, we created a new Python builder where we define that we are going to use a virtual environment that is going to be called VM CSnakes, and then we define a couple of variables here to basically say, okay, which is the Python version that I want to use? Let's start this for a virtual environment. If you are working on Mac, this is the Mac, or if you already have Python installed where you can find Python, a lot of stuff. And hey, you have also pip. Pip is somewhere here, it's going to pick up your requirements file where you start define the library that we are going to use. This is just mark it down, and that's it. You have it there. Important here. Once you compile this, because CSnake is going to analyze your folder, your project, and more, you need to enable a couple of things. So follow the tutorial, but you need to enable that. You need to allow the compiler to emit the generated file. So you can have access later to something like this. In my endpoint, what we have here, it's literally a markdown compared to MD. And this is just the wrapper that CSNet creator on top of my Python file. And I can use it right now. And the whole idea here is that when I run this solution, there are a lot of services here. One of the services is uh, Markdown CSNakes. And what I can do here is I can open, this is a chat with your data, where there are two front ends, one to chat with the data, other, other to, manage, to manage the documents. And I can go here. Let's also go here in the chat. And so let's take a look at the C snakes logs. And what we can do here is we can choose a file. Let's choose this doc file. I am going to upload the file and then I can process the file. And the process the process steps are basically going to pick up the file, upload to a, a natural blob storage, and then get the file, convert it to markdown, and in the markdown with the Markdown content added into a vector stored in this is Azure Search. But the convert to Markdown part, when it starts to process and we can see the steps, we can follow the steps here, we are going to get to a point that is going to basically check if the file exists on the disk, and if not exist, it's going to call the Markdown. If we go step inside here, we start to see that we have all of the generated code to work with Python here. So after it's done this, what we have here is an amazing, Markdown content based on the work documents, and this is a sample file that we're using here. And hey, that's it, and it works. And after this, the process will basically say that hey, the document was saved to the database. Yada yada yada. After a couple of seconds, it's going to also process and generate the chunks there, and the document is is already in the database. So I go here and take a look at the document. Somewhere here is the doc generated nine chunks here, and hey, in the log we can see everything that's happened here in the back, because at the beginning, remember, it creates a virtual environment the first time when this is up and running, it creates a virtual environment, install all of the dependencies, this is all of what we see here, and then we have, hey, we have a nice done, finish the conversion. So it works, it works great, and as we said, it also works with different type of files, let's upload the PDF, process the PDF, remove the background, done this, 
And in a couple of seconds, I think this is also a small PDF, we will have the stuff there. So super cool, super easy. Take a look at C snakes. Uh, it's a super powerful library to do this. Once again, kudos to the team behind this. And I hope you like it. And remember, I appreciate, subscribe, like, and more. Thanks again. Goodbye.